This is going to be another quick video. It's a cooking video and today I am meal prepping for the week. I'm going to cook a quinoa vegan chili. So there's no meat. It does have oil but no, no animal products. So I've already pulled out all the cans from my pantry. There's a lot of canned goods that goes, goes into this chili. I try to always date my cans, like this is 2014, so I need to eat those up. And, but I, of course, there's some that aren't dated. But it calls for one cup of quinoa. So I'm going to cook that first, and then you just put all the ingredients together with some spices, and, and then you have a chili. But it will, I probably will freeze half of it, and then eat the rest of it for lunch during the next week. So I'm using vegetable broth to boil my quinoa. It calls for one cup of quinoa. Look at there. So that's what I'm using, just the white quinoa from Walmart. So I will get that boiling. And then we'll just add all the contents to a bigger pan once this gets done. Okay, the quinoa is cooked. So I just have it set aside. And now I'm going to saute the onions and the garlic. Have some cilantro and onions and some garlic. I don't have any fresh garlic so I'm going to just use the pre-minced garlic. Mm, I always love onions and garlic cooking. Okay I'm going to add all the ingredients and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Um, already opened all the cans. So two cans of diced tomatoes. This should be called seven or eight can chili. Tomato sauce. Green chilies. Easy, easy chili. Okay, the quinoa. Quinoa. This is going to be a feast. I'm going to put it in some mason jars and then just freeze it. And have this for lunch. So get that all stirred up. One and a half tablespoons of chili powder. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of cumin. One and a half teaspoons of paprika. There's one. There's a half. Cayenne pepper. A half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Get all that stirred up. All those spices. Okay, I'm going to let that simmer for a little bit and then we'll add in the beans and the corn. We'll bring that up to not a boil, but just simmer. Let all those spices marry. It's time to add all the beans. We have black beans and it didn't say if you should drain them or not so I just kind of drained the top part of the liquid off. Black beans and these are kidney beans. Juice of a lime. I cut up some cilantro. I'll put that in there. That looks wonderful. I'm going to let that simmer probably for another 10 or 15 minutes and then I'm going to take it off the heat. This is this next week's meal prep. So thanks for joining me in this little short video on cooking uh, meal prep. I think that is good. I did add some salt and a little bit of pepper. Um, it didn't call for salt, but it's really good. I like it. It's got that quinoa in there. So I'm going to let this cool off, and then I'm going to put it in 
some mason jars and put some of it in the freezer because I can't eat this all this week. Okay, real quick, my battery's about to die, but I wanted to show you what I'm gonna do with the chili. I'm just going to put it in mason jars. I'm gonna do several jars like that. And I'm just freezing this. I, this is not canning. I just want to make sure that you understand that. And But I can freeze in mason jars. I can store in the refrigerator with mason jars. I don't have to use plastic. You can use mason jars. Whoop! I'm making a mess is what I'm doing. But anyway... I'm trying to rush because I think my battery's fixing to die. Clean up my mess. And then I'm gonna have supper. I love it.